Greetings guys, this is Magnan Masmai's Lectures Online. Today we continue with Mathematics and 5 Differentiation and we'll be doing a differentiation using the first principle which says lim h approaching 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. That's the formula and this formula like differentiates a given function uh, of x so let's see for example we're given something like this over square root 9x 1 over square root 9x this from uh, April 2019 question paper so for us to be able to apply this we have to kind of like uh, put this in a proper form which we can work with whether using the binomial or straight away but in this case since we can see that uh, the powers are not as usual like uh, to the power not to the power two we'll have to put it in a way that we we'll have we can be able to use the binomial theorem so to do that, we're going to say f of x equals to 1 over square root of 9 times square root of x. This is 1 over 3 x to the power negative 1 over 2. And then we'll determine this, which is f of x plus each which is in this case is going to be 1 over 3 x plus h to the power negative 1 over 2 now we have to expand this so that when we plug it here it can cancel out with this so to do that we're going to say 1 over 3 using the binomial theorem x to the power negative 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 x to the power negative 3 over 2 h minus 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 minus 1 this further multiplies with the uh, x to the power negative 5 over 2 h squared plus something in this case, when we are applying the binomial, binomial theorem while differentiation, differentiating using the first principle, we only need the first term of the first three terms. Why is it so? Because like uh, when we factor out h, we are going to factor out this h, and then here since we've got h squared, one h is going to be left, and in all the other terms, h will be left, and when we plug in zero, it's going to give us zero. So the other terms are more or less like useless so we leave it like this then we go forward to see f of x plus h minus f of x we do this separately because if we plug in straight here we won't be able to to work it out since you can see how long it is it doesn't even fit uh, in a page like i have to write the whole line and come underneath here so we simplify it here then plug it up here well when we are done so to do that we're going to say 1 over 3 x minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 x to the power negative 1 over 3 h 3 over 2 which does not visible let me rewrite it 1 over 3 x to the power negative 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 x to the power negative 1 or uh, 3 over 2 i meant to say h and then this is going to be if we simplify this it's going to be plus 1 over 
not 3 over 4 then it's going to be x to the power negative 5 over 2 8 squared minus and this we can close in a bracket here minus 1 over 3 x to the power 1 over 2 so this and this will cancel out so this and this cancels out and then we are left with uh, 1 over 3 negative 1 over 2 x negative 3 over 2 h plus 3 over 4 x negative 5 over 2 h squared plus some things there then if we further simplify this it's going to give us to 1 over 6 x to the power negative 3 over 2 h plus over 4 x minus 5 over 2 h squared plus something then from there we plug it in, into the general formula and uh, to do that we'll see lim h approaching 0 of a negative 1 over 6 x negative 3 over 2 h plus over 4 x negative 5 over 2 h squared plus something all over h then from here you can realize that we've got h on top h is on top and h underneath so we factor out h so it's going to be lame h approaching zero h into negative one over six x negative three over two plus three over four x negative five over two and then here we've got h squared will be left with h plus some things all over h then h and h will cancel out then from there we'll have lim h approaching 0 negative 1 over 6 x negative 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 x minus 5 over 2 h plus something then if we plug in 0 we'll be left with negative 1 over 6 x negative 3 over 2 3 over 4 x minus 5 over 2 0 plus some things which are also going to be 0 then we're left with one, negative 1 over 6 x to the power negative 3 over 2 and that's it thanks for watching our videos please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also do follow us on our social media platforms facebook where magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous minds twitter at magnanimous meanwhile